Why does this keep happening? Well... Thrown into the spotlight at a young age, Lindsay Lohan's initial ascent was nothing short of a fairy tale. Audiences were starstruck by her talent and presence in blockbusters like The Parent Trap and Mean Girls. But beneath the surface of this enchanting narrative lay the unseen burdens of fame that began to take over her life. Constant attention from the public and the media had turned her life into a relentless performance, one where the script was written by expectations and judgments far beyond her control. The innocence of childhood was replaced by a narrative she had not chosen. A lot of stuff went on when I was young with my family, and I grew up in a very chaotic home, and there were moments of everything just being wonderful and perfect, and then things being so uncontrollable and chaotic that it's something that people go through, and unfortunately, I waited too long to face it. From Lohan's perspective, the world saw her not as a person, but as a character in their ongoing entertainment. And this was punctuated by her trials and tribulations. The intense and often invasive intention contributed to a tumultuous journey of highs and lows, leading to moments of introspection and questions about identity, worth, and the real cost of fame. Lindsay Lohan, Holly Culkin, Britney Spears, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. These are just a few names among the roster of young celebrities who face the harsh realities of childhood fame. Growing up in the spotlight can be a double-edged sword for such individuals. While fame and fortune may seem like a dream come true, the reality for many child stars is far from glamorous. Instead, it's often fraught with challenges that can have lasting effects on their lives. These individuals became household names before they even reached adulthood, but behind the glitz and glamour lay turbulent upbringings marked by exploitation, pressure to maintain an image, and the absence of a normal childhood. But is there truly a link between childhood fame and instability? Or is this just due to the environments that these young individuals are forced to be in, whether by their parents or their family's financial needs? Let's take a look at two channels whose environments are notorious for disastrous work conditions and leaving lasting effects on those that work there as children. Believe it or not, being 16, I've been through a lot, so... Come on, how much heartbreak can you have at 16? <laughs> oh, a lot. <laughs> no, I'm... Nickelodeon and Disney stand as titans in the realm of childhood entertainment, shaping the imaginations and memories of generations of viewers. However, beneath the colorful characters and catchy tunes lie a slew of challenges and controversies that have shadowed these iconic channels. You remember those weird vlogs Ariana Grande would do on the website slap.com? Yeah, I do too. They were extremely odd, especially when you think of the sick man who was behind the camera. Who was the man, you may ask? Well, it was no other than Dan Schneider, a prolific producer and creator of numerous Nickelodeon shows, including Victorious, iCarly, and Drake and Josh. Dan Schneider's shows have garnered both acclaim and criticism for the portrayal of adolescent themes and characters. While many viewers praise his work for its humor, others have raised concerns about the appropriateness of certain content. There have been allegations of a toxic work environment on Schneider's sets, with reports of inappropriate behavior and mistreatment of cast and crew members. Many pointed out Schneider's odd fascination with feet, which the proof is in the metaphorical pudding. It's obvious some odd things were going on behind closed doors. Take a look at this clip. Look how nervous these two castmates look around Schneider and tell me that this isn't the definition of uncomfortable. Hi, what's going on here? Nothing. <laughs> you didn't cut out that part. Why are you sitting on the floor of the set? Because we are. In response to these controversies, Nickelodeon parted ways with Dan Schneider, signaling a shift in its approach to constant production and workplace culture. But the damage was done. Not only to the youth watching, but to the countless young actors and actresses whose careers were tainted by the actions of one man. On the brighter side, a brand new mini docu-series by Investigation Discovery called Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Many hope that the evidence being showcased within the docu-series will lead to justice finally being served. Sir, 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 sir. But that's just Nickelodeon. Disney has also had its fair share of issues. The most notable is the case of Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus became a household name thanks to her lead role in the very popular Disney show, Hannah Montana. However, behind the scenes, she faced numerous challenges and pressures that came with her Disney fame. As Cyrus transitioned from child actor to young adult, she struggled to break away from the wholesome image associated with her Disney persona. 
This struggle was heightened by Disney's strict control over her public image and career decisions, which limited her creative freedom. The mistreatment and exploitation during her time at Disney, including feeling objectified and commodified as a young actress, led to her breaking out of the child star image in what was at the time a pretty extreme way. Although things are different now and she's topping the music charts again, no one forgets their upbringing. The transition from childhood fame to adulthood has proven treacherous for many. Former stars such as Demi Lovato and Amanda Bynes have publicly grappled with personal struggles and legal issues, shedding light on the pressures faced by young talents in the entertainment industry. But while both channels have faced criticisms regarding the exploitation of child stars, the list extends much further than simply those two TV channels. Examples are countless when it comes to those from various backgrounds who encountered similar challenges. Macaulay Culkin skyrocketed to fame as a child actor, with his iconic role as Kevin McAllister in the Home Alone film series. However, behind the scenes, Culkin's childhood was marked by turmoil. His parents, who were also his managers, engaged in a bitter custody battle, and his father's controlling behavior took a toll on his mental health. Culkin faced legal battles over his earnings and struggled with substance abuse issues. Despite attempts to revive his career in adulthood, Culkin faced challenges in shedding his child star image and navigating the pressures of Hollywood. Through the struggles, Culkin turned his life around by overcoming his struggles with drug abuse and embracing fatherhood. Another key aspect to his positive transformation was his marriage with Brenda Song, with whom he has two children, further stabilizing his life and contributing to his overall well-being. But not all stories come with a happy ending, and that is made evident by our next childhood star. Aaron Carter burst onto the music scene as a child pop sensation in the late 1990s and early 2000s with hits like I Want Candy and Aaron's Party. However, as Carter entered his teenage years, his life took a turbulent turn. He faced personal and legal troubles, including struggles with substance abuse and legal battles with family members over control of his finances. Carter's battles with mental health and addiction have played out in the public eye, and he was candid about his struggles with depression, anxiety, and body image issues. Unfortunately, these issues took a deep toll, and Aaron Carter passed away on November 5th, 2022. His passing has been surrounded by various conspiracy theories, especially due to his last tweet directed at Kanye West just the day before his untimely death. The tweet, which read, Yo Kanye, let's talk, man to man, man, to man, man, to man, led to speculation among fans and conspiracy theorists about possible connections between the tweet and Carter's death. May he rest in peace. But this isn't just an American pop culture issue. Even royalty can sometimes cave to the pressures of childhood fame and fortune. Growing up in the public eye, Prince Harry's childhood was anything but ordinary. As a member of the British royal family, his early life was marked by intense public scrutiny and media attention. From a very young age, Harry was thrust into the limelight, participating in royal engagements and being photographed for public consumption. This level of exposure can be challenging for anyone, let alone a child. Then, the loss of his mother, Princess Diana, when he was just 12 years old, which had a profound impact on him. This was a tragedy that played out in full view of the global media. Confirmation from our very own Foreign Secretary, Robin Cook, who's uh, in the Far East at the moment, that Diana, Princess of Wales, has in fact been killed in that car accident. The way he dealt with the grief under such public observation added another layer of complexity to his upbringing. Despite these challenges, Harry has navigated his path with resilience. While two of these examples have seemed to lead healthier lifestyles, one celebrity is still somehow surviving the worst parts of fame. Britney Spears' journey through stardom has been marked by significant downfalls that have cast shadows over her career. Despite her early success as a pop sensation, Spears faced numerous personal and professional challenges that played out under the intense scrutiny of the public eye. One of the most infamous aspects of Britney's struggles was her very public breakdown in 2007, a period characterized by erratic behavior, including the infamous incident where she shaved her head. This period of turmoil culminated in her being placed under a conservatorship in 2008, which severely restricted her personal and financial freedoms. The conservatorship controlled primarily by her father became a focal point of controversy and public debate, raising questions about the ethics of the legal arrangement. This all took a significant turn in recent years as her conservatorship battle entered the public arena. The hashtag Free Britney movement, supported by the wider public and celebrities, brought unprecedented attention to her situation highlighting the need for legal and systematic reform. Then, in 2021, Britney delivered a powerful testimony in court, openly discussing the constraints she experienced under the conservatorship. This moment was pivotal, not only in her personal battle, but also in shedding light on similar cases. The termination of her conservatorship in November 2021 marked a monumental victory for Britney, symbolizing her reclaiming freedom. Or so everyone thought. 
Britney Spears announced her engagement to Sam Asghari, a personal trainer and actor she met in 2016 on the set of her music video for Slumber Party. Their engagement, announced in September 2021, was met with widespread support and enthusiasm from fans and the public, but equally widespread doubt and questioning. Some conspiracy theories have suggested that her relationship and marriage was orchestrated for reasons beyond personal love and commitment, speculating about the influence of external parties or financial motivations. These theories often stem from the complex history of Britney's conservatorship, along with Britney's odd social media posts and Sam Asghari's link to high-tech film production tools. The separation between Britney and Sam so quickly after their marriage led to even more conspiracies and questions on whether their love was true or just a business opportunity. This topic alone is a complete rabbit hole, so if you'd like us to talk about that more in another video, let us know down below. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, consider hitting that like button, along with the subscribe button to never miss content just like this. But the stories mentioned before, along with Britney's, sheds light on the broader issue of how individuals, no matter the specific network or industry, grapple with the responsibilities and ethical considerations inherent in managing young fame, superstardom, and royalty. So it must go deeper than just environments. It must be some kind of reaction to being the triple threat. Young, rich, and famous. And it turns out, science supports that theory. The intricate relationship between childhood fame and its impact on brain development merits a deeper exploration, particularly through the lens of neuroscience and psychology. Neuroscientific research highlights how early life stress can lead to alterations in the brain's default mode network, also known as the DMN, as well as the central executive network, the CEN, which are both critical for self-referential thought, emotional regulation, and cognitive processing. These changes may mirror the experiences of child stars, whose constant exposure to public scrutiny and high expectations can mimic a chronic stress environment. The reward processing system in the brain, most notably in the basal ganglia, is susceptible to early stressors. The basal ganglia play a major role in processing rewards and motivation, and disruptions in the system can lead to diminished reward anticipation and motivation, potentially reflecting the psychological toll of managing fame and its demands from a young age. Equally as important is the impact of such stressors on the development of the prefrontal cortex, a region critical for decision making, impulse control, and emotional regulation. In a developing brain, chronic stress can hinder the optimal development of this region, leading to difficulties in emotional regulation and decision making in later life. The conversation around the impact of childhood fame on brain development is evolving, and ongoing research is shedding light on the need for protective measures and support systems for young individuals in the spotlight. But the list of individuals who didn't go astray is just as long as the list of those who did. Emma Watson rose to fame at a young age for her role as Hermione Granger in the Harry Potter film series. Despite the immense popularity of the franchise, Watson managed to maintain a grounded and balanced approach to her career. She continued to pursue her education while acting, eventually graduating from Brown University with a degree in English Literature. Watson has since become an outspoken advocate for gender equality and has used her platform to champion various social and humanitarian causes. Then there's Zendaya. Zendaya began her career as a child model and actress, starring in Disney Channel's Shake It Up. Despite the pressures of being a Disney star, Zendaya has successfully transitioned into adulthood and expanded her career beyond the confines of children's television. She has achieved success as both an actress and a singer, starring in blockbuster films like Spider-Man Homecoming and The Greatest Showman. Zendaya is also known for being an advocate for diversity and inclusion in the entertainment industry. If you're interested in seeing Zendaya, go check out the brand new movie Dune Part 2. And finally, while this next star may not be gracing the big screen at the moment, she's thriving in her own endeavors beyond the world of movies. Bridget Mendler, celebrated for her role as Teddy Duncan in Good Luck Charlie, exemplifies a positive transition from child stardom to a multifaceted career. Beyond acting, her foray into music with hits like Ready or Not showcases her talent and promotes messages of self-confidence and positivity. Mendler's commitment to education is equally commendable, pursuing a degree in anthropology at USC. And you can't forget about her humanitarian efforts. Involvement with initiatives like Disney's Friends for Change and First Book underscores her dedication to environmental awareness and literacy proving that her influence extends well beyond the screen. Some fans even say she's a time traveler, questioning how she's achieved all the things she has in such a short period of time. 
As you can see, these stars were able to break past the societal tendencies, media pressures, and possible brain trauma. So what does this mean? Well, maybe it's a mix of everything. Maybe being young with rough home environments, toxic workspaces, infinite access to money, and the public eye causes the brain signals to go out of whack and leads to rash decisions. Unless you are able to overcome or prevent yourself from being within those unhealthy environments in the first place. These young talents often work long hours on set, which can be incredibly taxing, not just physically, but emotionally too. Balancing work with education and the simple joys of childhood becomes a complex juggling act. I mean, take a look at someone like Michael Jackson. As a kid in the Jackson 5, he missed out on a normal childhood because he was always in the spotlight. And when it came to money, he had a lot of it. Reports suggest that Jackson 5's first contract with Motown Records was worth approximately $1 million, and this was in the 1960s. In today's money, that's $8 million. This fame grew as he became a huge pop star, but so did his problems. The constant attention made his personal life very hard, leading to legal issues and health problems. His Neverland Ranch, which was met with astounding backlash and theories, was meant to capture the childhood he never had, highlighting the impact of his early years. And that's an example of somebody who actually had access to their money. The pay structure for child actors can be complicated. While some achieve significant financial success, others may not see compensation that truly reflects the hours they put in or the impact their work has on the project's success. This discrepancy raises questions about fairness and the protection of young actors' earnings. The betrayal of child stars in the media often swings between glorification and sensationalism, with little regard for the personal impact on the individuals involved. Stories of success and talent are frequently overshadowed by narratives focusing on personal struggles or controversies, perpetuating a cycle of public judgment and intrusion. While the families, employers, and actions of said individuals are significant issues, society's consumption of these mediums also play a role. The public's strong appetite for celebrity news fuels the media's focus on child stars, often ignoring the boundary between entertainment and exploitation. This societal fascination can contribute to unrealistic expectations and pressures on young talents, pushing them to maintain a certain image or persona to satisfy public curiosity. The sobering reality remains that while some childhood stars manage to overcome the pitfalls of fame, the countless others who succumb to its pressures underscore the dark side of the entertainment industry's treatment of its youngest talents. No matter the scenario, we wish them the best. What are your thoughts on the topic? Let us know down below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, and if you want more content just like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, we hope you like and understand the changes that have come to the channel. Thank you so much for all the support, and have a wonderful day. As always, bear with me.